Let me tell you guys. It has been a roof couple of days. So, basically, I told myself I wasn't going to drink, and then I drank. I went to a yakiniku place where you cook the meat yourselves, and basically, like, ugh, basically ate some undercooked meat, right, is what I think happened. Woke up the next day, I was feeling hungover, but nothing particular, just a normal hangover. Then the middle of the day, everything hit the fan. It was, it was just like taking shits and sleeping, taking shits and sleeping all day. Had a fever, I was sweating, I barely could move. It was pretty bad. I think it's like food poisoning, hangover combo. So that was really bad. And then I had to travel the next day, yesterday. That was a rough morning. The hotel room was a mess. I would get up, literally put two articles of clothing in my suitcase, lay back down, 15 minutes, get up, two articles. Because I did not sleep the entire day before, the entire night. Long travel day, got here, I was so grateful to be here. Immediately got in the bath. Japan has turned me into a bath person. And this morning I feel so much better. My stomach has like a knot in it. I don't know if I can eat a full meal yet. I cannot believe how little I've eaten in like three days. Well, all I've eaten in three days is like half an apple, a banana, a peanut butter sandwich, like a, a little uncrustable, and some peanuts. That's all I've eaten for three days. I feel good. God, I'm gonna watch this video and be like, whoa. But I feel okay. And finally, I'm, in, I'm back in Okinawa, back at the beach. I'm just gonna hit the routine, get my vibe right for the flight home in two weeks. I need to book that, fuck. I'll book that right now. I will say, I think I made a speedy recovery. I don't think I've ever had food poisoning before. I had something that I was sure was food poisoning, but my doctor told me it was water poisoning. I have a question and I don't want to, I don't want to offend anybody, but what's a big batty gal? What is that? What does that mean? I don't know how horses deal with flies crawling all over their body the whole, their whole life. How do horses deal with flies crawling over their body? This is my first attempt at eating a real meal in over two days. I went to one of my favorite cafes in Okinawa. So good. They have homemade lemon honey soda. So good. We're gonna take it slow. And if I can't handle it, I'm gonna throw it up live just for you guys. It's not so good. It's weird, like I'm hungry. But if I like eat too much, then like my stomach gets tight and it hurts. That was already a little too fast. You know, this is a life lesson. My whole life I've eaten way too fast. So now I'm learning my lesson. I'm already feeling that one. I don't know, I feel like whenever you order sauce for a burger, when do you ever ask for it on the side? I get it for like a salad. This is tomato tartar sauce. I know it's gonna be too heavy, bro, but it looks so good. <laughs> One bite. How long should I wait? Because I feel like you don't feel it until you eat too much, and you're like, oh, that was too much. Okay, okay. I feel it. Some guys over there playing um, a sanchi. It's like a three string loot. Normal me, this burger would have been completely gone by now. I'm getting full. Maybe I should wait for a burp. One more, one more bite, then I would have overdone it. Yep, this is my max capacity. Four bites of a fish burger. I think I'll be fine in a couple of days. But how long until I should maybe see a doctor, you know? I'm so sleepy.